Hi, good morning. Today is Thursday, the 16th of September, and I'm doing my, what should have been a daily video journal, but I have found that I don't have something to talk about every day. Um, I have been thinking lately over the past few days a lot about forgiveness, about grace, um, and how to embrace that. Um, you know, I get up every morning and um, I try to be very intentional. Actually, this year, 2021, is my year of intention. And so I'm trying to be deliberate about the things that I do um, to really better myself, to, you know, put myself in the best position possible uh, to live each day um, with a positive mindset and to be content and to have joy in my life. Um, and so every day when I wake up without fail, you know, I say my prayers and I, you know, I thank God for everything, basically. I, I try to, I'm intentional about starting my day with gratitude, um, honoring God for all that he is and all that he's done uh, and will do in my life. Um, and so I definitely wanna show appreciation for that. It's so easy to get caught up on negative things, you know, like what's not right in my life. And I don't wanna do that, right? So I'm intentional about gratitude and positivity because those are the things that are gonna drive me forward. Those are gonna, those are the things that are gonna help me accomplish. Those are things that are gonna help me create increase in my life. Um, and again, live life, live each day with peace and contentment. Um, then, you know, I, um, so I pray and then I, I read my Bible. I, um, I've got this online Bible app and when I open it up, it gives me, you know, the verse of the day. So I always read that and um, I'm on this path to read the whole entire Bible. And so um, I think I may have started with Acts um, in the New Testament. And, you know, so I went to the end and I started at the beginning and um, now I am in the last chapter that I'm going to be reading, or the last book that I'm going to be reading in the New Testament. Um, and then, you know, when I'm done with that, then I'll go to the Old Testament and we'll do that. So, um, so I read my Bible every day. I try to study God's word. Um, I try to incorporate other readings that are based on um, biblical text, scripture. Um, and so the book that I'm reading now, it's really a daily devotional. And so um, it's interesting because today's devotion was all about forgiveness. Yesterday's devotion was all about grace. Um, you know, the day before it was basically about, you know, that sometimes you're going to hit hit uh, rough patches in your life, but God will see you through your troubles. Um, and it was, it was interesting because on the day that, um, you know, the devotion was all about troubles, I had been having a conversation with someone and there are just some things that just weren't going right in their life. And, you know, the person that I was talking to was just like, you know, I know everything happens for a reason and I'm trying to, you know, see the best in things and have a positive outlook. And when I read this devotion, I was like, oh, this is perfect for her. And so let me share it with her. And, um, you know, I think she really appreciated it. But, um, you know, before that, so today is Thursday, so, um, on Sunday, I was, um, I learned about something and I'm not going to say what it was that I learned about, but, um, I 
I became aware of something. And in this, this situation that I became aware of, I found myself infuriated because I was infuri infuriated by a certain person's hypocrisy, you know, that, you know, having one set of rules for oneself and a different set of rules for everybody else. And, um, you know, I found myself infuriated because it just, it doesn't matter. I just found myself infuriated about it. And um, a couple of days ago, you know, I got past the emotion. So I was like mad on, on I was furious, seething <laughs> on Sunday. And on Monday, you know, a lot of that feeling had been let go. And by Tuesday, I wasn't really feeling any emotion about it, but I thought, you know, this person, their hypocrisy and what they've done, I'm just like, this is a pattern. This is a pattern that just happens over and over and over again. And, you know, there have been so many situations where this person in their selfishness does things or conducts themselves in a way that creates trouble for other people, you know, and then, you know, without fail, you know, at some point in time, you know, it always comes back and it's like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry and I feel so bad. Da, 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 da. And in this situation, I was just thinking, I was like, you know, I think I'm just done. You know, it's, it, it's not about asking, it's not about forgiving or anything like that. Not like I feel like, you know, this person is asking for forgiveness. Um, it's not that I feel like I need to forgive them or that I can't forgive them. It's just, this is just who you want to be. And it's just somebody that I'm not. And I don't understand. And maybe it would just be better for me not to have this person as a part of my life at all. And that's what on Tuesday I thought, yeah, I'm just done, right? Um, and then I read, you know, went to read my de devotion and it was all about grace and I felt conv convicted, you know? Um, you know, I don't, des I'm not deserving of God's grace, but he gives it to me in abundance. And I'm not deserving, you know, and today was all about forgiveness and I'm not deserving of forgiveness, but he forgives. And, you know, these, these, these devotions were basically saying that when God extends his grace, his favor, when he forgives you, you're supposed to embrace those things and all those things are supposed to, you know, flow from him to you and through you to other people. Um, and so I just want to share that I stand here convicted <laughs> because, um, you know, I'm not supposed to stand in judgment of anybody else, right? Um, and so who am I to convict somebody for what it is that they, that they do? You know, I do believe in, you know, what the Bible tells you about that you should speak truth in love. Um, and so maybe this person and what I deem as their hypocrisy, maybe they're not even aware that that's what they're doing. Maybe they don't even realize that they got one standard for themselves and they're hold, trying to hold other people to, to a different standard. I don't know, but um, maybe it's better for me to figure out how 
in love with grace <laughs> and with a forgiving heart to be able to share um, what it is that I'm witnessing in this person um, and to be able to communicate it in a loving way to give this person an opportunity to make a change if they so, if they so desire. And I can be accepting of other people in their choices and not let it weigh heavily on my heart. Um, you know, I don't believe in this whole cancel culture. I don't in my heart, you know, I'm not one of these people that is like, ooh, let me block you, let me block you. Um, you know, I don't, I don't typically throw people out of my life, you know? So um, that's not something that gives me, gives me joy. Now, if somebody decides that they don't wanna be a part of my life, I'm not gonna cry about it because I do believe that people come into your life for a reason and for a season and not everything is forever, so you know, if somebody was in my life, there was a purpose for it, and I'm gonna appreciate the purpose, whatever whatever the, the purpose may be or may have been. Um, I'm gonna assume that there's something good that came of that and that the purpose was served, and uh, who am I to question when that person no longer serves a purpose? in my life. It's not for me to control. Um, it's just for me to accept, you know, it's kind of one of those things when one door opens or when one door closes, another one opens. So let me be accepting of what else God is sending my way. So anyway, um, I stand convicted and I am, I am going to try my best to embrace grace and mercy and forgiveness. So pray for me. Um, what else is going on in my life? You know, speaking of prayer, I, um, I just found out the other day that one of my cousins is in the hospital and, um, she, I guess, was driving home from work and had a stroke and as she was driving and, you know, ended up um, getting a car accident or car, uh, you know, she had a stroke while she was driving, lost control of the car, the car flipped. Um, thank God she's alive. Um, thank God that that car accident didn't you know, she, from what I understand, outside of the stroke, um, that's really the only thing that's wrong with her. I mean, that's a big deal, but you know, I don't think that she has any broken bones or anything like that. It could have just been catastrophic. Um, so I'm thankful that she is still alive. You know, she's in the hospital, according to her daughter. She's, you know, responsive. She, she's weak on one side. And, you know, she wasn't able to um, speak. So um, clearly the, um, the stroke has, has impacted her, um, her, her, her speech. And, you know, that, that's hard, but she's, she's alive. So um, I am asking anyone and everyone to pray for her. Um, she's such a wonderful person. She's so delightful. She's always smiling. She's always happy. She's just full of joy. And uh, she's 100% about family, loves her family. And, um, you know, we're still in this time of COVID. She is in another state. And I just, um, you know, I just pray that God you know, camps his angels around her and protects her and heals her. And, you know, I pray for her children 
um, grandchildren, those are very close to her. You know, my father had a stroke um, a little over a year ago and um, thank God he's doing very well. Uh, thank God that I was able to be there, but boy, oh boy, it is hard to see your parent um, in a position where they are helpless. You know, it's, it's hard to see them down. You know, it's, it's hard to see them struggle. It's hard to witness their pain, witness the frustration associated with, you know, not having control of their body, you know, their mind to be able to do, not to be able to do the things today that they could do yesterday. Um, and so it can really take a lot out. Um, it, it can hit you hard, right? It's, it's hard. <laughs> so I just, um, I pray, you know, for those that are close to her, I pray for their strength. I pray that they comfort each other. Um, you know, I pray that they find strength in the Lord and that, um, they can focus on all the positive things and, um, you know, I, I, I pray for hope, I pray for healing, I pray for recovery all across the board. And I pray that they are able to take the time um, to be able to make the most of every single day with her and helping her through her, her recovery. Um, I know for myself, I was there with my father and, um, you know, if anybody asked me, you know, how did the pandemic impact me? I, you know, the pandemic didn't do anything bad for me. You know, my father had a stroke in the middle of a pandemic and we were all working remotely. And so I could work from anywhere and I was able to just pick myself up and replant myself where he was and be there for each and every day that he needed me each and every day that my mother needed me. And, you know, I was able to be, play a very active role in his recovery, supporting him through, supporting him, challenging him, um, you know, embracing the goals that he had for himself and, um, you know, just giving him the motivation that he needed to do the work, you know, to, to get to where it is that he, he needed to be. So um, I'm very thankful about that. And so for my cousin, I hope that she is able to get the same type. I hope her recovery is, is similar. And um, I, I just, I pray for a comeback for her. Um, and I, I pray that all that the, all those that love her are able to, to give her the support that she needs to get through this really troubling times. But you know, trouble don't last always. And I know that God's got her back, so all will be well, I believe. So, um, MAPS check in. How am I doing? How am I feeling mentally? I feel clear. I don't have anything weighing heavily on my mind. Thank God. Um, emotionally, I'm happy. Physically, I feel good. I feel strong. You know, nothing's wrong here so I feel good about that and spiritually I feel very very blessed um yeah so I uh, I'm gonna get my day started it is almost seven o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna go do my plank challenge I do a three minute plank every morning and I do yoga every day so I'm hoping I can get that done before eight o'clock and um, at some point in time, I'm gonna try my best to do some cardio. I haven't been doing it lately, but I think maybe I will get on, I'll either get on the treadmill or I'll get on my bike. We'll see. I got a busy day ahead with work as well, but um, I, pr I pray it will be a productive one. Have a blessed day, my friends.